Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today Talent Battle is back with yet another amazing opportunity that is from Intel and this is a hiring opportunity basically this is an internship that is for 2025 batch so today in this video we are going to discuss uh, like what is the eligibility criteria and what are the rewards they are offering and how to uh, apply for this particular internship so let's check this out so this link you will be getting in the description box and when as you as soon as you click on the link you will be landed to talent battles official website where we have mentioned this opportunity so as you can see here this is intel hiring and the intern name is graduate technical intern 2425 so let's check it out job location mentioned is bengaluru so you have to work on the location that is bengaluru this is not a remote internship so let us quickly check about what is the job description. So the system simulation modeling SSM team with, within system software and simulation engineering team in SATG is driving software for strategy at Intel. So we all know like Intel provides software for major leading brands of laptops and other softwares. So this is a very good brand to work with and you are going to learn a lot of skills. So the ideal candidate should demonstrate the following skills, very strong software development and software engineering, analyze specifications of upcoming new IPs and features, including com complete platform capabilities, exercising judgment and discretion to develop solutions, assesses risks and identifies solutions to timely efficient achievement program goals and ensures a quality standards that are met behavioral traits and highly proactive in ensuring simulation readiness so basically if you are interested for this simulation field and you have the basic skill set so you can easily apply for this particular internship the qualifications are like you must be pursuing beb tech or mem tech in computer science embedded or electronics and communication engineering or equivalent job experience demonstrated C coding language, uh, C coding skills or experience background in modern processor, micro architecture and computer system architecture, demonstrated vision for continuous val uh, validation improvements, preferred qualifications are like ability to work with broad peer group, highly motivated, strong work ethic, ability to work independent, ability to deal with ambiguity. So if you all have these uh, skills, you can easily apply for this particular internship. This role will be eligible for our hybrid model. So it means like you would be uh, like spending some time at your work site location and some would be off site. In certain circumstances, the work model may change to accommodate business needs. So like you can take it as a, a work from office location. Okay, you can't take it as a remote internship. And you must be pursuing your BEB tag so you can be from 2025 batch. So let's jump into and uh, let's apply for this particular uh, internship and check it out like what are the other requirements which we have to fulfill. So we'll click here on the apply button. As soon as we click on the apply button, we will be landed to Intel's official website where this internship opportunity is mentioned. So we can check out here graduate a technical intern and all the details are mentioned very uh, briefly here. You can check each one of these details so that you get a clear uh, like insight of this uh, particular role. So we'll click here on apply button. As soon as we click on the apply button, you must have to create uh, one uh, like uh, your website. You have to log in using your Gmail account and you have to create one account on this website. Okay, I have uh, created the account. So the direct form is opening, but you have to create a basic ac account. So let's fill this out. Uh, the first question is, how did you hear about us? So there are a number of options uh, like you can fill from here. Okay, any job, best, any anything you can write here. This is just collecting data. Next country region, you will mention your uh, like country name, India. Your given name is your first name. Your family name is your surname. Then addresses you have to mention. You have to uh, fill your phone number. So this was all on the first form. So I'll just fill the details and then we'll jump to the uh, next part of the form so now we are on the second part of the form where you have to fill your work experience if you have any kind of work experience any internship you have done you can just mention here we can click on the add button but let us take it as a fresher because if you are pursuing so you don't have any work experience 
here is the important thing that you need to mention you have to fill your complete education okay so be btech you can mention here and here you can fill your school name or university name basically your college name uh, next in degree uh, you, there is a drop down menu you can pick from here let us take it as bachelors field of study uh, like computer science is mentioned so you can take computer science okay so here is the number of uh, degrees mentioned here so you can just scroll and find out your specific uh, branch and you can just uh, click on that okay next uh, is your overall cgpa okay so you can just take out an average of your uh, all the semester results which you have achieved and just fill that okay next from and in actual you have to fill your expected uh, year so it will be 2025 okay so you can take it as 2025 okay yes and uh, you can also fill add another if you're doing mem tech so you can also fill your bachelor details as well next is the languages you just click here on the add button and you can just add your languages like english hindi all your regional languages are mentioned here you can just fill and next is you have to just give your scores uh, on your language which you have chosen okay so here are four levels uh, five levels beginner classroom study intermediate advanced and fluent so you can just fill this thing as well and this is a very important thing is your skill set so please mention those skills which you have in actual okay don't fake with your skill set fill the skill set uh, which is required and which you have okay and lastly you have to fill uh, like upload your resume you just have to click here and upload your resume and in the websites you can also mention your linkedin profile otherwise you can just leave this okay so i'll fill this form as well and i'll get back to you yes so now we have reached to the third part of the form now they are asking you some basic application questions which you need to fill like are you a current or former employee of uh, like this company you can fill no okay and are you an immediate family member so most of the questions will be answered as no but read the questions very nicely have you previously been employed by intel will fill no okay are you currently or you have previously worked with intel so will fill no if you have previously worked you can just fill your designation over here did you sign any non uh, competition or non socialization forms you can fill no uh, do you own control or have economic interest in intellectual property so you can fill no okay uh, if hired do you intend to maintain any secondary non intel employment okay so we'll fill no i understand and i agree that there is no false information so yes i certify and are you legally entitled so yes i am an indian citizen are you a government official so you can fill no okay let's uh, click on this save and continue yes now there are some voluntary disclosures you just have to give your sign okay so you just fill your vendor here next uh, your citizenship okay so you can just fill your citizenship from here okay uh, so here we have let's click india yes so citizen of india you are a permanent citizen or citizen this that is uh like similar okay uh next disability status so we'll fill uh, no so no i don't have any uh disability next terms and condition you just you can just uh quick read this terms and condition and click on yes i have read and next is your save and continue so at last they will just give you the complete form to check once again you can just go through once again if you need to edit any details of yours which you have by mistake filled uh, like you you have missed the details or you have filled uh, false details you can just correct those here okay and last you just click on submit and i think that's all like that was your form so wait for the form submission So yes, so your form has been submitted now and your application is counted here. So they are just, uh, you can see the status here. So a congratulation pop-up will also come. Okay, so that's all for today in this video. We, uh, we checked out Intel's hiring and this is an internship opportunity for summarizing. I'll just uh, summarize each thing for you. This is graduate technical intern for 2025 batch students. Okay, so if you are interested in this particular company and in particular field, so you can easily apply for this internship and for any kind of further queries you can just comment down below or reach out to us on our official website our mentors will be happy to help you out and have a nice day and stay tuned
and subscribe to our youtube channel for all the further updates and job opportunities and placement related like guidance thank you